this weekend? Pretty sure bet. Yep. Yeah, safe bet. Again. <laughs> yeah, again. <laughs> right, we've sort of been on cruise control. I keep saying that this week, but the forecast not changing all that much. It gives me a little time to relax. Just kidding. I prefer <laughs> a little excitement in the forecast. And next yeah. week, we could get a little bit of a warm up. Uh, okay. How warm it gets, well, this far out, not looking too significant, but we'll keep an eye on it. Let's get to the graduation. Here's some excitement for you. UCSB Gauchos, class of 2014. Here we go, beginning tomorrow at 9 a.m. with a commencement ceremonies continuing all the way up until 4 o'clock. Another one starting that late in the day. And through the afternoon, we'll lose the fog and we'll warm things up. But if you're heading out there early, make sure to bring that extra layer because it will be chilly as long as the clouds and the onshore flow is in place. And that will be through the morning to even early afternoon. Today in Santa Barbara, 73 degrees, pretty much on par with what we've seen all week long. Morning low at 59 degrees. Here's a live cam view. It looks like somebody turned the camera. So pretty much seeing a tree, but this is out at Santa Barbara City College, where if we could see that pretty ocean view that we typically see, we'd be seeing that hazy sunshine in the distance. Wind-wise, we are seeing some double-digit winds out there. And tonight, I am forecasting a little bit of a weak sundowner, mainly, mainly west of Goleta, out towards Gaviota, gust tonight, uh, 25 to 30 miles an hour. Those winds should subside, though, as we head beyond midnight. 24-hour temperature difference is really pretty much the same as what we saw yesterday. The exception is out towards Paso, where it is about 12 degrees warmer tonight versus this time last night. A quick update on what is now a Category 1 storm. Winds now down to 90 miles an hour. Just about 36 hours ago, Christina was a powerful hurricane with winds at 150 miles an hour. Our setup closer to home remains the same. This dip in the jet stream is going to allow for a few storms to move inland across the Pacific Northwest. Doesn't dip far enough to the south to bring us any much needed rain, but it will reinforce the onshore flow pattern, keeping the clouds and fog going for the morning hours. The sunshine for the afternoon and keeping those highs near seasonal. Now, we should cool a little bit on Sunday as a secondary low moves in behind that first one, but we're only talking about a few degrees of cooling at best. Tomorrow looks pretty much to be like what we saw out there today. 72 in Santa Barbara, 73 in Montecito, and 68 for Goleta. A little breezy in some spots, but overall it's a quiet uh, comfortable weather forecast again for your day Saturday. Now, north of Point Conception, could see a little bit of warming in some of these spots as we don't see as strong as an onshore flow. So San Luis Obispo is expected to be into the upper 70s tomorrow. Nice and warm out there. Uh, Ventura County not changing all that much, much like the south coast. 70 apiece in Ventura and Oxnard and up to 85 for the city of Ojai. Beautiful spot. If you haven't been there, check it out this weekend. Santa Barbara seven-day forecast. We're talking about temps. On Father's Day, right at 70, upper 60s Monday, and then beyond that, it's a gradual, slow, and steady warm-up. Ventura, temperatures here near 70 on Saturday, and then down into the upper 60s from Sunday into next Tuesday. You'll notice the partly to mostly cloudy weather icons continuing all the way through next week. The five cities, temperatures with the cool down, down near 60 as we head towards Monday and Tuesday, and then warming up a little beyond that. And in Pass the Rubbles, the Southern Salinas Valley, if you want the heat, you got to head inland, 92 to Toasty tomorrow, but we are going to cool down those temperatures some as we head towards next week. CJ.